guys. Tia with Fit Pro talking about back pull downs today. Everyone knows this move, but nobody does it correctly. Okay, so uh, on a setup like this, let's start from the bottom to the top. Okay, so come close. So first, we want your feet nice and secured into the ground, okay? Feet not loosey-goosey to the front or to the back. This is here for a reason, okay? Every single lap pull-down machine in the world is gonna have one of these. You want this nice and tight, okay? So I wouldn't wanna see it up here with all this space. You want it down as tight as you can stand while still getting good grip off the ground. My, my heels are actually up off the ground when I'm doing lap pull-down, okay? So feet are tight, knees are tight, pushing up into this little barrier. That's gonna keep all of this lower body in position. All right, once you've got that, let's go to grip. So, there's a lot of different grips here, okay? None of the grips, this versus this versus this, none of them are incorrect, okay? They're all correct. It's just a matter of what you're trying to do, okay? Generally, with all upper body lifts, wider is more major muscles, so here, more lats. Closer is more biceps, okay? And underhand is gonna get even more biceps and more pecs as well, okay? This is a chin-up grip, this is a traditional grip, okay? So uh, I start most of my clients with pinkies somewhere on the bend of the bar, about here, so about a hand length outside of shoulder width, all right? So now, anytime something's in your hands, this should be review, right? But anytime something's in your hands, it should be tight. Tight grip, okay? Never a loose grip. So feet are tight, knees are tight, hands are tight. Okay, now from here, I recommend leaning back about 10 degrees, about here, okay? And puff the chest up, drop the shoulders down and back. Okay, we don't want a flat back like this. Okay, so chest up, shoulders back, and that's going to sit your, your eyes and your chin up about 15 to 30 degrees, okay? So once we're in position, pulling down at the bottom, the elbow should be pointed straight down, not like this. A lot of people come down and they're, they finish in that position with weak wrists and weak elbows, okay? You see, if my elbows were pointed back like this, we're outside of the major muscle lats, right? So you wanna get underneath it, make sure that the elbows are pointed relatively down at the bottom of the rep, okay? There's so much more that I can say here about traps versus lats. So many pitfalls on this move. It's a major move, okay? But come to the back so that you can see that my traps my upper traps here, they're not moving, all right? So it looks like this. See how my traps are cemented down, right? Instead of, right, keep those traps down, lats down the entire time, like so. Okay, this is a staple. This is part of every single lifting program under the sun. All right, so really make sure that you take the time to master this key move.